Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. So, we're starting another loop. I'm going to pause it so that I don't waste more time. The last time we went to Brittle Hollow uh, and I fell in a damn black hole, which was an experience. <laughs> we know that um, that the Nomai have they're having their own kind of scientific principles questioned as well. Uh, Brittle Hollow is occasionally orbited by a volcanic moon, but after their research showed that it doesn't consistently orbit the planet, it it kind of maybe has a consciousness all of its own. Um, one thing I did completely forget is that Rybeck is supposed to be at Brittle Hollow, so I'm going to head straight back to Brittle Hollow. I'm going, we're going to use the locator to try and find his banjo to see if it's there but I need to go back to that underground cave system uh, because I jumped off trying to be clever and find a little wall panel that, that I couldn't get to so that's what we're gonna do uh, I've, I've got to say guys I am loving this I am um, like the music, the atmosphere, the the, the 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 just the organic exploration, the mystery. Everything is just glorious right now. Um, I really couldn't ask ask for anything better at the minute. I'm really in the mood for this kind of game. Okay. There are the twins. Whoa, not again, Matt. All right. No, we're not going to the Ember Twins. Oh God, have I just crashed? I still can't fly for shit, so... Right, that's where we're going. Head straight for Brittle Hollow. Stage two, accelerating towards destination. Wonder how fast we can go in autopilot. Oops. Okay, okay, okay. Slow down. God. I think Rybex on the other side of the planet. I think it might be prudent to find him first. Unless he's like inside that little village bit, right? Yeah, he's right in the middle. Okay. Maybe he's in the black hole. All right, so let's um, let's go and find the the bit that we started from last time, unless we get hit with some lava. I'm really reluctant to say I'm getting the hang of the flying. <laughs> as soon as I say that, I'm gonna crash. 
if you're unaware of the ongoing theme of me playing games, as soon as I display any sort of confidence, that's when I uh, usually mess things up. Where was it? It was like a... It was where one of the pods had crashed, right? Here it is. Right? Uh, I don't know if we can land by all those trees. Oh! <gasps> Wrong button, Matt! Nailed it. Let's just have a look at the ship's log. The uh, escape pod, old settlement, northern settlement, the white hall station, and the northern glacier, and the high energy lab, and a quantum moon. <laughs> so this is where we started. One of three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel, which was badly damaged. The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned this settlement, overgrowing concerns about its stability. There's more to explore here. The Nomai decided to migrate from the old settlement to the northern glacier. They used gravity crystals to craft, a stable, to craft a stable path beneath the surface. Um. The White Hall Station. God, every, every Nomai warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use the tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. The Nomai noticed something strange. Warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the White Hole Station. This negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment could even measure time to such a small degree. The High Energy Lab the negative time interval was measured at the white ho measured at the white hole station was further investigated at the high energy lab in the canyon at ember twins equator okay that's on the ember twin the north pole of brittle hollow is covered in snow and ice there's a uniquely shaped nomai ruin on the surface the nomai were able to warp here from the white hole station this is where they first recreated warp technology the nomai on brittle hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky God, got so much to explore. Oh! Well, that's what we wanted. Okay, yeah, we've got more gravity in here. That's what was going wrong. And then this leads... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, no! Right. Yes, yes, yes. Leave it out. God, this is... Oh, not got my torch on. Amateur. All right, we're back here. Now, we read a few of these already, right? There's the upside-down path. That leads over there. 
No, that's um, Feldspar. There's Ryback. He's not far off, but... Um, yeah, we read that one. Uh, it was there, that that's the where I fell off. Oh, there's a bit underneath. Maybe that's what we need to go, where we need to go. Because there's something to read in there. That's what was bothering me. Maybe we need to come upstairs from down below. Yeah, look, because that thing's there. Are there stairs? Maybe. It's a bit risky. Too risky. <laughs> Sorry, had to quote Gollum there. Uh, let's have a look around the other places before we do any, uh, before we attempt any risky business. I suppose it doesn't matter. We can just come back, but it's just more busy work, right? If uh, if I fall down again, don't want to miss anything. It's the big fear in this game. Shush. Got something down there. Whoa, we're really low on oxygen already. Plume, my brother wasn't in Escape Pod 1 with us. Was he in Pod 2 or Pod 3? Was he able to board an Escape Pod at all? Plume, we sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Um. Okay, how do I get out of here? like that. I feel like I've missed one. I don't know where I am. Okay, I think I know where I am now. Uh, over there is, is the upside down path, so I'll just have another little look around. Three minutes. If we find Ryback, we might find some trees. Is That's worth considering, right? Wish there was a run button, man. A sprint button, sorry. We've got some murals on the wall over here. Oh! Nice! It's uh, fuel we're gonna need at some point. Hello. Okay, this one's a bit weird. I think it's just glitching. Okay, uh, Kusa. We can hear the other escape pods' distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. Kusa, I'm unsure how to be me without you. Maybe one of them who died? Their partner. Man. Thank you, sir. Right, let's go and check out these murals. Oh! 
Was that a place we could go? That's bad news. Hmm. The brambles took took over and imprisoned them. Hmm. So the, the eye of the universe sent the signal out to the Nomai. The Nomai came to find them. When the Nomai came to find them, the brambles attacked. When the brambles attacked, the main ship released three escape pods, one of which was trapped inside the bramble, two of which left. One landed on the brittle hollow. Um, maybe this will explain things. Thatch, I can't understand. Why did the ves vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Was the vessel unwell in some way? Thatch, suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. Felix, no, a no... Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. I'm uh, Felix, I'm afraid our friends in Escape Pod 3... Yeah, didn't make it. So I think the Escape Pod 3 would then be, be that one, right? wonder if you can make it to that one. Okay, we're definitely at ground zero here, so do with making our way back up. Let's just uh, top off our, our oxygen here. And we'll head up to the upside down path. How long have we been out now? About 15 minutes. Don't do that, Matt. Don't take shortcuts. Um, I've been up there already, so I think it's only the upside down path. There is a wall I haven't managed to get to, to translate, which might be important, but... So this was the explanation of the upside down path. Yeah, and then they should construct a new one. So we need to just have a look here and plan our path. So we're going to be on the ceiling. Oh man. This is scary. I don't know what proximity we have to be. <laughs> for these things. But this is our way to their new settlement. I don't know if that means he's in the black hole or he's on the edge of it. There's Rybeck, right inside the black hole. Oh man, how awesome is this, guys? On the inside of a hollow planet. Walking upside down. Okay, I think, does what? We have to jump. I can't think that's that's where they lead, right? Oh, sweet baby Jay. I just picked up a weird steam achievement. Harmonic convergence.
don't know why my ship appeared last time. Yeah, we're floating towards something. No gravity though. Oh god damn it man. I mean that's the white hole station, right? How are you supposed to make it across then? I mean, is it just that parts of, of it have been destroyed? There's supposed to be gravity in here. Okay, we've, we've done all this before. Yeah, Whitehall Station, read these. It's not triggered though. I'm guessing that we need to. I think this just makes it go clockwise or anti-clockwise or something. Sorry guys, I don't know how we're supposed to get across there. Maybe we need to get there early to um, before the, the, the bridge across maybe gets hit by lava or, or meteorites. How, where are we going to end up this time, though? Oh, man. We're out of fuel as well, almost. Oh, no, yeah, there's spare fuel. Our ship's not too far away. Okay, we're closer than ever to Ryback. Dude, let's follow this. Maybe he wasn't in the core. Wait, where's he gone? No, maybe he is. Oh, what was that over there? Okay, we just need to hit this. Oh, he's here, man. Right back. Right back. found him oh you launched that's great great job you well I guess that means I've been out here a while huh well um this is brittle hollow but you probably knew that a lot of history here it's great well what are you doing here I'm here to see the hanging city 
It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gouging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be, yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? Yeah, I found an old escape pod. Wow, so then. The Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Where should I go? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Uh, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. can't... crap. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried, but if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. No! I just found Ryback. Oh, come on, dude. I'm coming back. <laughs> Alright, so we have learned some stuff at least. Spent too much time reading the ship log. Uh... If you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you idiot. You do you know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. Wait, I, I, sorry, I didn't mean to skip over the first bit. Now, if you use it, your scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. Did you think I made that so you could just take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. Okay. So we can use the ghost matter as a light source, or the, the thing that we use to detect it. Right, I'm going straight back to Rybeck. Uh, can I set markers? Uh, what's going on? Alright, let's head back to Brittle Hollow as quick as we can. Pilot works well. So we really can't see much of Brittle Hollow until OK, 
Okay, here's where we started off last time again. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go and find him. There's probably more in the ship's log, but uh, we just need to move as, as quick as we can, really. I'm rushing. Right, where the hell is Ryback? Wherever that uh, thing is. Okay, now if I try and quickly head to the upside down bit, the bit that connects it might not be destroyed anymore. Chill out. I can't see the... the thing that will lead us to Ryback. I don't know if we can access it from here. Might not be destroyed this time. I think that's what happened. I think this must, this place gets gradually chipped away by the by the moon. There's Ryback then. Completely on the other side. I think we can get across then. Could be wrong, but it looks like that bit is intact for the time being and it will, this place will slowly get chipped away by the volcanic moon. Beautiful, we made it, we made it. I'll get back to you, Ryback, I promise. God, I thought the game was about to crash. Come on. There we go. We might make it, guys. Right. Ship log update. Right. Where on earth? Well, not on earth. Where the hell are we? Wow. Oh. So there's ghost matter up ahead. Not that way. There's ghost matter. Still right above the black hole. Not seen any bits of information. I think I know where we are. Give 
Give me the oxygen, please. Oh, that's Bramble. Where's uh, the oxygen? I think if I go up, I'm not going to be able to get back down. Could be wrong, though. I don't have a choice, so hopefully I'm not in the place I think I am. No, I'm not. We're all good. There's another hole there. Beautiful. Ghost matter nearby. Completely lost. All right, there's the ghost matter. Go up. I wonder if this ghost matter was deadly to the Nomai as well. Lami, explanation of festivals. Lami, all the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned, learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Lami, we can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Lami, at some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too, like a known as Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. Lamy, each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. Lamy, a single festival could last a long, long time. Oh, we've got another scroll. Let's not be disrespectful. Solanum, formation of this universe. Solanum, no one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be hot and very dense, tightly packed together. Solanum, as this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Solanum, since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. Solanum. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. Solanum. That's scary to think about, even though Co uh, Konoi tells me Konoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Okay. Are there any more scrolls? The brambles here as well. Right, I can see how to get back to Rybeck. But the interesting bit appears to be over there. Just don't know how to get there. Yeah, there's Ghost Mountain nearby. I don't know if we can, like, sprint through. It's probably a bad idea. But that path is where we need to get to. I think we could, should be able to drop down, right? 
We're on the clock, Matt. We are always on the clock. All right. We've got to go for it, guys. Oh! Suck it, Ghost Matter. Let's just double check if there's anything in here. I don't think so. Right, let's make our way over to these scary looking pillars. It's got a message written on it here. Oh, this is so fascinating, guys. Uh... Alright, so this is going to help us translate stuff, right? That means school district. Melwater District, I Shrine District, Black Hole Forge District, School. So two, one is School, two is Mel Meltwater, three is I Shrine, and the swirly S is the Black Hole Forge. Meltwater, I Shrine, School, School, School. Can we walk on the? Yeah, this whole thing is made of, um, these whole walls are made of the uh, upside down stuff. Go this way first, I don't know why. This is the Meltwater District. Yeah, so it's oh, second floor, third floor, right? And there's a lot to explore. I think we're going to run out of time. Black Hole Forge controls. Oh, let's get this. Thank you, trees. Let's get this stuff red. The Ash Twin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Okay. We've got some more scrolls at least. Solution 2. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. But Spire. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing. Poke. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Idea. This is the safest path for our clan. Bueno. Greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. Mightis. This is true, however... Hang on. Yeah, losing valuable knowledge. Mightis. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. Is this Avens? Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Casaba, is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible. Excuse me, impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Clary, no, but poke apprenticed to Anona who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. Poke, I believe I could be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. So they were trying to use the black hole thing to, uh, to create a new 
uh, warp core, one that could take them long distances and get, perhaps get them home. Uh, there might be another... Yes. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. Blocks, this would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good nomai perish there. Sisad, my mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. So this is like the next generation. Like people like Plume and Coleus are maybe the first generation who were here. Coleus, what Melloray and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. Raimi, the vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Ponoy, perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me that there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Kasava, even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint provided we are able to transport it back here. So several generations lived here. And the biggest problem with Dark Bramble is the anglerfish. They're deadly. You need to get past them somehow. Okay, so we're going to need to do that as well, I imagine. If we're to go to Dark Bramble. If we're to save Feldspar. Poke, I feel strange. Trying to recreate an owner's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. And for the Black, po Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. Poke, hypothesis, this will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was sure, I miss my old mentor and deeply. Yeah, like imposter syndrome. Poke, to have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably, but what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Poke, was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw an owner's warp core with my own three eyes. I, I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Poke, still, all I can give is my best, and as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Okay, yeah, so it's like a, some, they were born here, and they're still trying to escape, but they, they haven't seen where they're from, their home solar system, their home planet. Right. Uh, there were multiple paths to go on here, so I might have missed. Oh god, missed a bunch of stuff. Oh, it's it's like an elevator, right? I will get back to Ryback, I promise. Yeah, a lift, not an elevator. Well, I guess this would be classed as more of an elevator, not a lift. Sounds more science. Uh, sounds more sci science fictiony, right? Okay, this feels okay. We can get through. Where are we? We're on the North Pole. But we haven't explored all of those ruins. I'm just worried that we're, we're pretty close to the loop now. Ow! We've got some ruins here. I think we're going to have to be quite quick now. Oh, oh, we've got scrolls. Scrolls galore. 
Oh no. Oh, I've been here. I've been here. Yeah. This is where I came after I came out of the, the White Hall station. Okay, I can't remember if I came up here though. Felix, has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm pretty sure I've read this. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend's Hollow Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis, there can exist too much lava. Yeah, we, we've read this, guys. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us it. Yeah, we've been here. We've been here. We've been here. Crap. How, did I, how do I get back? Right. Let's... Um Head back down. Let's head back down. Okay. Uh, we need to bat, bat trap big time. I'm a bit annoyed I ended, I ended up somewhere that I've been already in the last episode. Just means we've wasted time, you know. Right, bat trap, bat track. Episodes on about 50 minutes. This was the black hole forge controls. Black hole forge controls. What does that do? What does that do? We need to get up there, man. We've not explored this all of this area yet, right? We need to have a look here. No, there's not. There's only one path. I think we're going to get timed out here, guys. I'll, uh, I'll keep going as long as we can. But we're on that kind of time. Time. Uh, timer now. Running pretty low on fuel as well. Oh, look at their beds. Yeah, the music's kicked in. We need to motor here. Need to get down there. What is this? Casper, I imagine I've been hard on Poke again. This in turn means I've made things difficult for her sister, Clary. 
Cassava, if Poke and I are oil and water, Clary is our emulsifier. She certainly makes us a better team than would mixing through shaking. Although sometimes I would like to shake Poke. Cassava, jokes aside, suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with Poke. That would be immature of me. Cassava, I should apologize, at least to Clary, who could then tell Poke. It's a, a diary, a personal diary. Yeah, we haven't got long. Okay, guys. All right. So what have we learned? I need to make some notes. So we learned that the vessel traveled here looking for the eye of the universe, perhaps, but the vessel uh, crashed or was attacked by the bramble. Vessel uh, crashed. That's where the three escape pods launched, but it looks like only two of them made it out. One of them was kept in by the bramble. And then the, the one that crashed on Brittle Hollow, they made a whole... They made... A place to live there, uh, two places, and several generations lived there. Perhaps three generations of Nomai lived there, and they were trying to recreate a warp core or a warp drive, um, similar to the one from the vessel uh, that their great scientist Anona invented. But they um, were struggling to do it, and they were trying to use the power of the black hole to create a black hole drive, and that was their whole kind of thing there and we've learned a few personal stories some personal dynamics we've seen logs from various generations um talking about how they're going to try and uh, escape this place and some of them were born here so they've never actually seen their home world or their home galaxy their home solar system so uh, we found Rybeck, but i didn't get to sp uh, fully speak to him because i ran out of time i will go back to him so the next episode i think we're going straight back to brittle hollow we're going to explore the rest of their community uh, and we'll try and get back to Rybeck as well and have a, a good chat with him and and, and you know get it's probably best if we explore all the ruins first and then talk to him because you know we need to he wants to know everything about this place uh that he can so so yeah hope you enjoyed this episode guys leave me a thumbs up if you did just remember everybody never trust an ungrate i'll see you next time